I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Candy Box. You can play this game at candies.anyway.net, link in the description. Um, this is arguably the first clicker game, except you don't click. So you just have, you get, you get these candies, uh, we can save. So I still saved with whatever. Let me save here. Let's eat all those candies. I've eaten 21 candies. So you earn candies over time. You can eat them. You can throw them on the ground. That's rude. But uh, I think we'll I think we'll abstain from throwing candies on the ground. Um. Wow, what a boring game, huh? Just watch a candy counter. I mean, why would you Why would you want to play a game like this? Why would you want to play a game like this? I I wonder. But yeah, this game. I really wish this game got more love. Like everybody knows Cookie Clicker, but for a while this this did explode for a while. And personally, I recommend playing this game with friends. Like if you have like a Discord server or something, just toss this link out there and be like, "Hey guys, check this out." And like, I found this game on the you know gaming Q and A site arcade.com um, with arcades built the Q A. It's you know questions answers. Haha. <laughs> Um, and like people just like started sharing screenshots like, oh man, you got to wait until 60 candies and look, we got, oh, hey, hello, I'm the candy merchant. Uh, my lollipops are delicious. It's a little cut off. I might have to hang on here. I think I need to expand my, my horizons here for a second. All right. Horizons expanded. So, um, hello, I'm the candy merchant. I would do anything for candies. Anything? Anything? So, yeah. What what do you got going on? He's got a nice little ASCII face here. Can I touch your hat? Hey, you touched my hat. Stop that. You're tickling me. <laughs> I'm so ticklish. Here, listen. I'll give you 100%, 100 candies. But stop that, please. Okay. I can't click his hat anymore. So now, once you have 150 candies, you can buy a wooden sword. But first, I want to touch this lollipop. Hey, don't touch the products. Seriously, don't touch this lollipop. Don't touch it. Other customers are going to lick it after that. That's gross. Stop now. I'll be forced to do something. Okay, okay. I lower the price. Stop touching it. So, yeah. Um, this game seems silly and stupid, but why not buy a wooden sword? Oh, there's options. We got inventory. We got a wooden sword. And look how many things we could potentially get. Isn't that interesting? Um, we have a wooden sword. We're in the pink, ready for fighting. Let's go to the Peaceful Forest, an epic quest in the Peaceful Forest. Things found will only be yours if you finish the quest without dying. You found two candies. So the way this game works, you kind of, you fight, you get experience. I think, actually, eating candies gives you some health. So I actually ate some candies earlier on, but it's not really a huge deal. GHS. Oh, it's a chest. Very rare. We open it with our wooden sword very slowly. See, so yeah, like, you know, the more standard clicker prototype after this, you know, the game starts out completely brain dead simple, and then everything grows from there and gets more complicated. And it's a little hard to figure out absolutely everything on your own. But um, like I said, the, the really fun thing in this, in my opinion, is just playing this game with a bunch of friends. And like, like let me go back to my story. So on arcade.net or com, um, somebody just put a link out there and was like, what is this game? Oh, you found 467 candies. Um, what, what are we fighting? We're fighting like three lines. Oh, it's a, it's a tree. Okay, we're, we're killing trees. That's rude. But, um, so somebody threw a link and was like, hey, wh what is this game? I'm, I'm eating candies, but what's going on? And it's like, I, I keep throwing my candies on the ground, but it's not doing anything. And then somebody's like, hey, hey, wait, wait until there's 60 candies. What the heck? And then somebody's like, wait, wait, once you get the sword, you know, you can go on quests. And I'm like, what? A sword? This is just a stupid game with like a, a counter. And then people started, you know, finding new stuff. And it's like, oh, there's a witch in this game. And people are like going crazy. It's just, it's a lot of fun. It, if you do, I do think you should play this game with friends. What, what you do, like I said, you throw, oh, lollipop for him. Um... You can buy a copper sword. Yeah, let's buy that copper sword. The copper sword is quite heavy, but it slays efficiently. And let's buy a lollipop. Um, we have one lollipop. You've eaten 23 candies. Let's throw 10 candies on the ground. You threw 10 candies on the ground. Let's plant some lollipops on the lollipop farm. Pop, 
production. One lollipop per day. Well, that's not really too useful. What if we buy another lollipop? Four lollipops per day. So this is... We're getting into standard, like, clickery territory, aren't we? Um, let's do one more quick run. Wait. Let's... I think we'll probably die if we go to Mount Goblin. Let's run through the... Oh, wait. There's no chests. Oh, whatever. It'll actually go a lot faster without the chests, then. Yeah, we can, we can do other stuff while we're running through the forest. Oh, and you can save at any time. Um, to load your save, just click the link next to the save button. You can even put it in your bookmarks. See, so yeah, I can right-click this, um, you know, open it in a new tab, and then, you know, bookmark that, or drag it to my bookmarks bar, and I'll bookmark it. So, you know, your save is local in your browser, but you can access it. If you're using Chrome, you can load up your save from anywhere, because, you know, Chrome Sync. I, I, I really love that, the Chrome Sync feature. I wish Adobe Flash had something like that so I could, you know, keep my Flash game progress. So yeah, nothing too interesting was there. We got a key. The lollipop farms key. This key brings a lollipop farm. Alright, so we got that in the chest. What's this? Map to the sorceress's hut. She might help you, but not for free. Where is the sorceress's hut? We, we got a map. I honestly forget how to use the map. Oh, go to the sorceress's hut. Throw ten lollipops inside the hut. We don't have ten lollipops, so we're just gonna go with Mount Goblin. I really like Gob. Nasty paws. Nasty Goblin. We found found three candies. Sick Goblin. I I really like the ASCII art, like adventure stuff we have going on. So the game's a little quiet. You know, I should put on some OC remix music or something. Let me. Yeah, I never got, I don't do too many stream stuff, stream things, OC Radio is available 24-7. Okay, so this is OC Remix Radio. Let me, is the sound not on? How do I unmute you? I have no idea how OC Remix Radio works. Am I, am I muted or something? I'm not muted. How do I make this start? Oh, there's a play thing. Okay, so this is Lemmings music by uh, One Up. There we go. If you're tired. You need to wait before going on another quest. I think I died. I must have died while I uh, was finding how to like start music. And the song is like over now. Um, yeah, I figured we should at least have some manner of music. Wait, we can almost buy 10 lollipops. Let's wait until we can buy 10 lollipops. We have to wait anyway. Hmm. This is Clash of the Titans Pokemon The Missing No Tracks by PU Freak. I, I've never used this OC Remix Radio thing before, but they, they... They have a bunch of free music that you can use, you know, no content ID, no weird stuff. Can I buy 10 lollipops yet? No. Um... Come on. There we go. Plant. Ten lollipops. So now we get six lollipops per hour. That will eventually, you know, that's still... I, I can theoretically let this, you know, wait on this game for like an hour. What, what's that? CND. What? I'm not sure what that does. So we've got some piano to listen to here. Let's go to... Oh. Hmm. Alright, I guess I need to wait. Um, there is a decent amount of waiting. Like, this is a game, you know... You play this game open in a tab with, you know, other stuff going on, you know. Reading, maybe, you know, doing some light work, whatever. Read your emails. Um, it will not, we won't have to wait too, for too many lollipops per hour. Just as a secret, we'll be getting multiple lollipops per, like, second. Eventually. Um, but at this point, I do need to wait, so I'll, I'll give sort of a little... I'll give a little cut whenever I need to wait on stuff. So can I buy... Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just give it a cut here. Wait, how long do I have to wait? Oh, one more minute. Well, I can wait one minute. So, what I really like about this game, it has all of the... The cool thing about clickers is that feeling of progress and, you know, stuff unlocking and stuff. But, um... I really don't like the actual focus on clicking. 
because and we're also going to eat all the candy so I get some more health. I'm not sure how much health I have. Do I see my health? I don't think it really shows me. I've eaten 110 candies. I think you get diminishing returns from the candy health. But at this point, um, just a few more health might get me through this goblin mountain. But um, I just really like this game does not focus on the clicking aspect. You know, it's all automatic. You know, you click around to, you know, upgrade your stuff. But there's no spam clicking and, you know, none of the upgrades and stuff will never be frantically clicking like, oh, click a lot. You know, there's one thing, I like Abyssrium. It's a clicker and it uses a bit more clicking. Like, late game, you really don't need to click, but earlier on, you, you kind of do a lot. So yeah, let's, let's fight some gobs. All right, see, so I have like six more health than I did last time from eating the like 100 candies. Eventually, these quests will be a lot more interactive. I'll go ahead and spoil that, but um, you, you really want to have a good time. You really, I really recommend like finding a group on Discord or on Twitter, you know, whatever group of friends you have online or not. Uh, introduce them to this game. You know, be as vague as possible. Uh, you know, pr pretend you don't know, you know, the things you've seen from this video. Uh, be like, hey, you should play this game. And they'll be like, what? I think like, hey, oh, hey, something just happened. 60 candies. What's going on? You know, GTB. A tenacious goblin. He has a dagger, too. Oh, we're dead. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're not really... The good thing is we keep gathering lollipops and uh, candies while we're waiting. So I think I'm going to need to wait a little bit more before I can fight the goblin thing. This is a fairly slow game, and I'm going to be showing, like, there's active periods while we're battling, and then there's wait periods. And so this is a big old wait period uh, right now. So I'll, I'll be back and we'll see more of what's going on later. All right, so I got the, the other chest from the uh, Goblin Swamp. So I got the Seven League Boots, or I guess it's not really a swamp. Whatever it was, I got it. So I got that. Um, I, I finally got some lollipops apparently from the production. I was doing some other stuff. Alright, finally we got a lollipop per minute. That's pretty important. Um, though I need... Actually, I need ten... I need thousands to get the cool spells, but... Uh, uh, so what I need for... I think I need a couple of health potions. Uh, the underwater cave. Um, I got three of those. And I'll just eat all those candies to get my health. Plant one of those lollipops. And oops, yeah, I downloaded an OC Rick next album. All oh, right, let's, ugh. this thing always pauses. I don't know what the deal is, but yeah, let's. We're gonna go to the underwater cave now. This is the doctor named Wiley by Charles Blockley. So yeah, as you can see, we move a lot faster now. We're going to want to use our health potions whenever we need to. I don't think we get Berserk potions back, so we're going to want to conserve those. Alright. Uh oh, I probably should use that health potion sooner. I forgot about the cooldown. Alright, I think we're good. And now we're fighting the whale. No, 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 no! Ah! 44 HP left, and I wasted all of my freaking potions. It was close, but yeah, I forgot about the potion cooldown. That's pretty annoying. If you're impatient, you can just kind of use up the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Berserk Potion. I should, I would have won there if I used the Berserk Potion, probably, but I wanted to save it for some dumb reason. It's one of those too good to use items. Anytime you can't get an, an more of something, it instantly becomes too good to use. Even if it's really not that great, even if it's best used early on, it just never... I never do it. So yeah, um, I guess I just gotta wait. Which, that sucks, because I, I don't have... We're at sort of a slower paced part of the game where I have to wait quite a while to get my health potions. I probably should have bought more than that, but I do have some good health. Oh, 
this is Puffball Promenade uh, by OA on OC Remix. Um, hmm. So unfortunately every new cave, like, you really do want to play this game, you know, idle and, you know, leave it sit for like maybe half an hour between even attempts. Like, you can keep, you can check back in and, you know, go, you know, beat up all of the goblins. That'll work fine. But every time you need a new thing, you know, you kind of need to prepare quite a lot. So it's an interesting sort of progression. Yeah, I guess we'll give it a cut here. And I'll continue later. Okay, so in my haste, I kind of forgot something teeny bit important. Um, you can you can basically save scum in this game if you want to. You can just, you know, save, load. So I could just save. Oh, and also, if you once you load the game up in, um, you know, by the 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 password, that that password just stays right here. In your um, in your browser thing, so you can just reload at any time. You just press F5, and boom, we're right back to where we were. So what you'll want to do is save immediately, um, and then load that URL, and then the only access the game through that URL, because that's a lot safer. Um, so I forgot that you need 30 lollipops to make lollipop powder to polish your candy sword to make it awesome and more powerful. Then you use a chocolate bar to coat your sword with melted chocolate and make it incredibly powerful. This is how weapons work, my friend. You know, you, you really, you gotta use the melted chocolate. If zero chocolate bar is sad face. So, at this point, we probably just plant those extra lollipops. And now we get two lollipops per minute, three lollipops per minute. That's getting pretty good. So, get a couple of health potions. This guy says I can do it with just two, but it's a little rough, so... I think I'll keep those candies for now. What we want to do is save before we go, then go out on that quest, and then... Apparently the potions heal 50. I forgot if they're like a full heal or what. But, uh, oh right, let's bring back our music here. This is... Ah. Boy, you're so slow. Oh dang it, I forgot to heal. Oh dang, we're so good, we're so much better now. So this is You Give Me Wings by Ivan Hostock. It's a Xena Gears uh, remix. We found a map, a hat, a ring, and holy crap, we found a lot. Anvil this way. Go to the forge, go to the wishing well? Yeah, heck yeah, I wanna throw a candy in the wishing well. I will grant you one wish, so choose from them carefully. Multiply my candies by five, multiply the lollipops by eight. Uh, give me lots of potions and scrolls. Here's 85 various potions and scrolls for you. Holy crap, that was obviously way better than anything we could have like hoped for from the multiplication, because we don't really have that many candies. Also, this game is all handled in JavaScript. If you really want to cheat, you can, but really, you shouldn't need to. Let's save, by the way. So, what can we do now? Why? We're at the point where an escape potion might be valid. Though we might already have a bunch of it. Yeah, look at all the crap. Oh yeah, the wishing well can give you some more berserk potions. Yeah, we got a decent amount of berserk potions. We got a decent amount of everything potions, really. So we can we can raid the castle. I'm just gonna. Ch oh wait, there's actually some more stuff we can do. Uh, leave the wishing well. Can I go back? Oh no, you only get one, I guess. Sharpen my sword using that anvil. To enchant your sword using sample, be careful. You can only enchant a sword once. Um, let me see what the options are here. Sword of Flames increases damage beyond 14 requires a fire scroll. This is the best choice by far. Tougher enemies must be fought in the Oh, right. Because a lot of the tough enemies, we need invulnerability potions and stuff. So, we really want the sword of the, the fire sword. Sword of Life is the s second scroll. Um, or the Sword of Life is made by using the health potion. It heals you, which is nice, but uh, it's really not that great. You get passive regeneration later, so it's not a big deal. The Sword of Summoning sucks. That's the inv invocation one. You, you really don't want that. Uh, so yeah, we want the fire scroll. You have the sword of flames. Your sword is covered in a permanent blaze, damaging enemies more than ever. Wait for it. So yeah, that's 
these are some permanent things, but we're really, there's only one legitimate option, basically. So yeah, we, we can go to the Sorcerer's Hut, but we really shouldn't, can't really do much with that yet. Um, so we just need the castle entrance. I forget, is there anything special here? Let's, let's save before we go there. Um, go on an epic quest, I guess. Guagua guards, I guess, are nice. Oh yeah, th this is the thing where like, I think you have to be fast because that teleports you back. Yeah, so this is kind of tricky. I forget. Oh, I died already. I wasn't paying quite enough attention. So this happens pretty fast. Unfortunately, we have to wait a fair bit to go back. Um, oh, actually, the amount of guards and stuff is finite. I think we just want a Berserk Potion to rush our way through there, because the level ends the moment we reach the end. We just kind of kind of want to time our Berserk Potion really well. So, you know what, I'm just going to try that again. I think the Knights are the tough ones, so we're going to want to wait for the Guard. Alright, alright, nope! Aw, oh, we died. Aw, oh, come on. Alright, let's try... Alright, you can just hit F5 to load if you, uh, saved recently. So let's try that one more time. Ah, oh, dang, it already evaporated. There we go! Into the castle. So we used two Berserk Potions, it's not too bad. So the Castle Stairs are next. Well, did we get anything from that? Plate Armor, oh right. We lose those health points. We got. We already got this stuff. And this hat enhances your magic. And this thing is having some major issues streaming. I'm not too impressed by this Rainwave.cc site with the OC Remix stuff. It's Pretty iffy. You know what I could do is... Hmm, how am I going to do this? It's not even playing. Yeah, I don't like the sight. Um, it's not impressive. This is Snowfield from Contra by Tefnek. We really just want to keep advancing at this point, but we can't. I still have to wait another few minutes, so... Hmm. Alright, we can plant some more lollipops. We do get- we get a multiplier, if you couldn't guess, for the lollipop production. So we really want to get our way- I think we get something at the end of the castle entrance, too. Oh, actually, the armor was the first. The armor, actually, that was a drop from the castle entrance. I wasn't paying attention, so. That was actually really good that we got that the first time. Alright, so this next level is pretty easy, so we'll just go. Oh, we're already ready for fighting. Castle stairs. We need to summon imps, though. Imp Invocation Scroll. I can't even see what's happening. Wait, oh, that's my Imp. What is happening? Hawk. What is the Hawk? <laughs> Weapon, it's whole body, an Imp. Yeah. So the Necromancer, all you really have to do that. The ghosts in that, half your health, but they don't affect the imp. So that was actually very easy. And this area drops nothing, so or it, it drops nothing, like no random loot. 
We have a cauldron now. Brew a large variety of potions. Do we have something a candy box? How do I Candies converter? Alright, your candies can convert into lollipops now, I think. But we still have use for candies. How do I How do I use my cauldron? The candies converter. When activated in your candy box, the surprising object quickly converts all your candies into lollipops. One candy gives one lollipop. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that's extremely important. I forgot about that. Pink ring of calmness. This pink ring will help you control your breath. You will recover faster after a quest. Oh, that's very useful, too. Back to the wishing well. We already used all the maps. How do we use this cauldron? Like, I have all the same potions. Oh, there's the cauldron! It's a map item! I am stupid. Okay. Welcome to the Potions Brewing Manual for Beginners, second edition. This manual will focus on potions that require materials such as candies and lollipops. Three rules of potion brewing. One, the effects of a potion depend on the content as well as the steps followed to prepare it. You can do several potions in one go. It's possible the mission instructions to brew potions of different types in one go. Good potions, minor health potion, and vulnerability potion, strange potions, turtle potion, cloning potions, move potion. Oh, I think we actually want that, don't we? Um, I think we already got an earthquake scroll, which we'll need. Gamu. Go to the piece before and use the Gamu potions to end up with a cow level. Right. Okay. Alright, so we need to make the Gamu potion. Get me out of here, potion. This will be a critical situation. It'll teleport you to another location. Maybe it'll be safer? Maybe it won't. Who knows? Quite exciting, isn't it? Alright. How many... Alright, what are the instructions? First, put your... A base quantity of 10,000 candies! Okay, I can't do that quite yet, then. 500 lollipops for each potion you want to brew. Never change the base quantity of 10,000 candies. Then mix a little bit, put it into the bottles. Enjoy your random potions. Mm hmm. What other things do I use? Cloning potion. There's a little bit of candies in every one of us. It's actually a physical law of the universe. Now, candies are very malleable material. These two facts lend us to the realization of this cloning potion. This potion will copy your inner structure to make a clone of you, almost entirely made out of candies. There's a bit of water, too. Hmm. I think I just need to wait for some more candies at this point, unfortunately. I think I'll need to do just a bit of grinding here. I think the castle entrance is a decent place to grind. How much how many candies do we get? And at this point we can use the escape potion to get out of here real fast. If my health gets too low. And remember, if I die I don't get to keep what I take or what I had. Wait, I'm ready for fighting already? Does that just make me instantly ready for fighting then? That ring? That is pretty useful, actually. See, so yeah, I can just fight these guys. The knights give you a ton of potion or candies. Ugh, the streaming site is awful. You know, I'm just gonna stop that. that this is this was a failed experiment, frankly. The whole OC remix thing. Just listen to your own music, I guess. I'll I'll try to figure it out more later. All right, that's actually about a half hour of footage, so you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here, and we'll be back once I have, I basically have to let the game idle and grind for a bit, but then I'll be able to take on the castle keep and so on.